Well, Carl, firstly, welcome to Birmingham City. How are you feeling after your move? Um, yeah, I'm excited. Um, obviously, I haven't played much football in the last six, seven months, but um, Birmingham just gave me the chance to come along and get fit and help them push for the playoffs. And obviously, you're joining the club at an exciting time, not long to go to the end of the season, still very much in the playoff shake-up. Yeah, definitely. Um, that's one of the first things I looked at where uh, Birmingham was on the table. Um, they're in a good position um, with six, six points outside the playoffs with the game in hand. Um, in a good position and the manager wants to play attacking football and he's going to go for it. So that suits me and um, it's going to uh, give me game time. And it's a, a league that you know, obviously, from your previous clubs. And it's a league that anybody can sort of beat anybody. So you don't know what's going to happen at the end of the season. Yeah, definitely. The Champions Championship's a, a strange league, as you say, anyone can beat anyone. It um, doesn't matter if you're at the bottom against the top. Um, it's whoever wants it the most on the day. Um, and seeing the lads train um, Thursday, um, there's, there's a few exciting players and um, I'm sure we'll give, we'll give it one, one final push. It must have been a bit of a, a strange season really for you today. You mentioned not having much game time, but on the international front, you've been sort of the talisman in Northern Ireland getting to the European Championships. Yeah, it has been strange. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm starting for Northern Ireland. Every time I've started, I've, I've done well and I've scored the goals and then I'm coming back to the club and I'm not getting a, a look in at the minute. But um, I've, I've came to Birmingham hoping to play and hoping to have a massive say in um, helping the team push for the playoff places. And obviously they're hoping to recapture the international form because obviously at the end of the season there's a, the big tournament to come. Yeah, definitely. Um, the, gaffer, the gaffer spoke to me and he, he says obviously with the tournament coming up he'll, he'll try and give me as many games as possible and he, I'm, I'm sure he'll hold his word to that. Um, but first and foremost I'm here and I'm here to help the team uh, try and make the playoffs and if we do uh, I'll be going two years a, a happy, happy player. And you obviously spoken to Gary Rout. What has he said about specifically what he wants from you during the time and what he expects for the team? Um, he's just spoke the, the way that he wants the, the team to be laid out and um, he's just going to give it um, one final push. Um, if, it, if it works out, we make the playoffs. We make the playoffs. If it doesn't, um, at least he's, he's had a try. There's plenty of games as well during that short space of time. What do you think that you can bring to this blue side? Um, I think my work rate um, will be probably the most important. Um, the championships, it's a hard league and if you're not going to work your socks off then you'll struggle in it. Um, so my work rate's always going to be there and hopefully I'll, I'll add a few goals um, to, to the, the team as well. And obviously you've experienced promotion as well so you, you know what it takes perhaps mentally that maybe some of the squad can benefit from. Yeah definitely, it's, it's, going, to be, it's going to be a difficult nine games. Um, as you said, everyone can beat everyone but um, I've seen the lads play, uh, train and they're, they're all psyched up and um, we start from, from Charlton.